Hi guys, it's Keith with Arkenberg Farms here. And today I'm getting ready for my first planting of the season. And for that, we're going to be going in the high tunnel. And I'm going to start prepping out some beds. Show you how I did it. Now, since it's still freezing at night, it's been cold this past week, winter farming can be quite a pain. First and foremost is, I have to drag all my hoses in here. As you can still hear, they're creaking and cracking, they're still frozen. So before I can even use those, I've got to wait for it to dry out, or to thaw out. Now, what I've been working on, tried yesterday, with not much success, because like I said, everything was frozen. This bed over here went through and took out all the mustard greens that were here. Just went through with the weed eater, burned them all off with that, took them and go to the compost pile. What I've been using for that is just this. Simple battery powered string trimmer I got from Arbor Freight. Did the same thing over here. This bed that was cover cropped went through and demolished all of it. Now the lettuce that I've still got growing in here, I'm leaving all this in because it's got some aphid pressure in it, but we have ladybugs. So we're getting ready to release those after we get this done. Um, I'm gonna come through gonna I cleared all the crop so now I'm gonna run the tilter through and then uh, then I'll fertilize tilt again and then after that I will uh, wet everything down with the hose try to get the ground back uh, get some moisture in it and then uh, plant so the planting will probably be tomorrow Now, I've ran the tilter back and forth a couple times. Got a good, nice tilt to the soil here. Next, I'm going to apply uh, fertilizer and a little bit of compost. Uh, I put in this much fertilizer, it's a yogurt container. It's actually the key to the farm. Without this measurement, I've been using it for three years. I got to start over and figure out how much I was actually putting on. What I'm using for now is Dr. Earth's Homegrown Organic. It is a. What are you? A 573. So I'm recertified. Um, it's what I prefer to use at the beginning of the season. This year when it gets a little warmer outside, I'm switching up things and going to a uh, composted chicken manure. Uh, I believe it's a safer brand. It's got a slow release nitrogen in it. That should really help bulk the heads up bigger and get the salad mix going nicer. Let me show you what I'm doing. Now I'm just getting one cup full. About up to the top. And I sprinkle it out. Now I've done this enough times to know about the right to walk. Now I will compost and run the tilter through there one more time. Now I've got the compost spread out across my bed. I do 
three five gallon buckets for a 40 foot long bed and down here I didn't do any however that far one I did the whole thing the reason for that is I want to test out my compost I've heard too many horror stories of people getting unfinished compost and it locks up the nitrogen in the soil for a season. So, I'm going to take what was growing good last year in my amended area and I'll be able to compare the two. Ran my tilter back and forth <clears throat> a couple times. And you can really see the difference in between the color of soil of what I put compost in and what I didn't. There's none. And there's compost. There we go. See how much darker it is down there compared to up here? Now I just got to go ahead and water things in. Yep, before watering in, I'm going to use my 36 inch landscape rake and smooth everything out. Now I'm just going to lightly water in. Got a dram sprinkler head and a thumb control. And when I say lightly, I mean lightly. We're not trying to turn this into a mud hole. We're just trying to get some moisture back down into the soil so it'll be soft enough to plant in. There we go. Make one more pass. And let it sit overnight and plant in the morning. Well, it looks like it might take a couple more light waterings throughout the day to get the soil moisture back up where I want it. I have a very uh, heavy clay loam, as they call it. It's got a CEC of 22. So when it goes hard, it turns into concrete. But I'll just keep watering on it and get to plant tomorrow. Hope you guys like what you saw here today. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget, I'll be speaking at the Mother Earth News Fair this year. There's a uh, link in the description with a coupon code as well. So, hope to see you all there. Thank you all. Have a good day.